G'day, 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 you absolute bunch of bloody legends. Loser bum back in the house after a little bit of a break. I hope you're all doing fantastically well. I'll be honest with you guys, it's been a bit of a while since I uploaded some content. Last video I did a few weeks ago was about Minecraft and I kind of got sucked into Minecraft. So for the last three, four weeks, basically, I've just been eating, working, sleeping and playing Minecraft. So kind of lost touch with the news. I'm pretty sure it's the same old boring stuff. The world is the same as it always has been. Nothing's changed. So uh, expect actually something like that to happen. Laserbeam, my biggest fan, who... Um, who this who copied my channel right even though he started his earlier that's an accident with a rubber band and a time machine but anyway laser beam as you know switched just like me from fortnite into doing other topics and one of the topics is minecraft so i expect there might be some minecraft centric content coming up as well as you mud lovers out there i will be getting back to the mud very very soon never run out of ideas and content for this channel what i do run out of is time to actually do it Anyway, um, I was, oh, wait, before we go anywhere, I want to welcome uh, our newest subscribers. We have hit 51. The big 5-0 went by while it was buried in Minecraft and the world was perfectly normal and nothing special happened at all. Um, and yeah, I don't see all the names. Some people keep it private, but very well, warm welcome to Trapstar, Devin Platt and Xkabulba. Kaluba? Excaluba. Excaluba. What? Oh, Excalibur. That's what it means. Welcome to the channel. You people are people of taste and distinction. Otherwise, you won't, would not subscribe to this channel. Anyway, just uh, recently, I was playing a bit of um, Super Smash Brothers U Ultimate Deluxe Extended Remix 12-inch uh, remix version. Or I was playing Smash Brothers on the Switch. And after about seven minutes, I had all of the characters unlocked because it's such an easy easy game right especially for gen x's like me not the zoomers out there and one guy uh, caught my eye mr game and watch is a playable character in um in super smash brothers now and you in super smash they were bringing everybody you can play anybody and by the way i have oops, let me just fire up the video on monitor two there just for visibility um there's a game and watch collection video in the back i'll put some link down in the description uh when i finished um anyway so i thought so maybe some of my viewers being uh, slightly younger don't know what the heck a game and watch is and yep that's the topic for today so game and watch were games handheld games like this they look like this the very first my own very first electronic game which i had was one of these it's octopus and which we're going to play it's ever so long ago about 40 years ago it was the coolest thing ever and we'll go through some of the details and show you how to play it at least for the rest of this year and notice one little thing here nintendo not even the modern logo yep nintendo Maybe one day I'll do a video, otherwise go and look on Wikipedia. Link down in the description. Nintendo goes back well over 120 years. They used to be a playing card company, and from that they sort of randomly drifted into doing these computer games, and the way they did that was via these game and watch games. Now, what's a game and watch game? You can see there the size, right? Look at the guy's thumb. This thing was really small and it had a watch on it. This was the 70s when digital watches were the coolest thing. Now nobody wears them anymore. But yeah, that was the coolest thing. Before that, watches were mechanical. And the big invention that made um, digital watches possible, which came around in the late 70s in mass production, was liquid crystal display. If you see this gray background with the black characters, that's LCD, liquid crystal. Uh, it's not that expensive to mass produce um, and it's very low battery usage right before they had led so sort of you had a digital watch where you would see uh, the time but it was with sort of red glowing leds and that ate up too much battery it wasn't worth it lcd could be displaying the time for two three years on one of those tiny little round um, batteries so um, it's a game and it's a computer game. In this case, uh, it only had two buttons, left and right. That, those were your only controls. Simplicity was definitely a hallmark of, of these early game and watch games. Very often it had a game mode A, game mode B and time. That was the watch part. If you press time, you saw the time. Otherwise, game A, game B, press a button to start and, um, and off you go. I remember just by watching these, uh, you can't see it on video. You won't see it until you get your own. But these rubber buttons were made of a very special special type of rubber. Think of getting the oldest remote control you can find. Go to your parents' or grandparents' accounts and find the oldest rubber one and then rub your thumb over this thing 
for about an hour until the skin wears off. That's exactly the feeling you got by playing a game and watch game. Back to LCDs, which were the key about this. You notice there's no pixels on here, or I'm telling you there's no pixels on here. There's just this black thing, and here when you switch the game on or put the battery in the first time, you can actually see all of them. So these are all the display units. Think of them as pixels, but they're not square. They're just the things that the game can switch on and off. That's it, right? And just by switching these on and off in a certain way, you get an illusion of animation. Now, it's not 60 FPS, it's more like 2 FPS. 1 FPS, yeah, it's probably between 1 and 2 FPS, but as you'll see, actually, I can play this now. Yep, see, uh, the guy jumps down, dock, 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 and he goes up, and by moving left and right, you can catch the guy and bounce him again. So, again, yep, see how from these display units there, um, elements, they made that animation. And that's what you could do, right? So if you count the pixels, there's maybe 25, 30 of them maximum on there. So yeah, that's, you know, nowadays you have megapixel cameras who are in multiple megapixels. No, this was like 30 pixels. There were 30 things on the screen you could switch on and off. And with that, they managed to make compelling games. I would have sold my grandmother to get an extra one of these. Um, I almost did, but the sale fell through at the very last minute, uh, you know, used uh, and uh, yeah, and it was amazing. And that's the complexity they could handle both from a display. They could have put more pixels on here. See, look, that little dot there is a pixel. However, the microchip controlling the game being able to switch on and off the fields on the game couldn't handle more than 30 or 60 outputs. So this is what you got. And the creativity is amazing. So yeah, we just saw a bit of the gameplay. I'll put this video as well, but you can you look for yourself on YouTube, press left and right, catch the guy bouncing until he lands in the ambulance. Amazing, isn't it? So there's a site called Pick a Pick, which has been out there for a really long time where you have a number of these games digitized. You're going to play them yourself and I'll show you how to do that. And the one we're going to take is this one called Octopus because that's the one I had when over 40 years ago. I'm not shitting you. Don't say OK Boomer, Generation X, meet Generation X, yeah, no Boomer. But yeah, that's how long ago this is. And I'm going to show you how to play it in your browser because there's a certain trick to it. So click on the game um, and normally this would start. It says at the top here, you need Adobe Flash player to play games. Again, maybe we'll do a video about Flash. I have a friend. Hey, how's it going, uh, Mr. Highbroke? A uh, big punch out to the, to Mr. Highbroke. He used to be actually a Flash games programmer. So Flash was a thing which you would which your browser would have as an extra add-on to the browser to be able to do graphics and interactive games. Very big in the 90s, very big in the early 2000s. A huge security risk. There are so many ways you can break your computer or hackers can take your computer because Flash gives gives the browser so much control that it's it's like disabled by default on browsers. And I was just reading the article today that it's going to be disabled both in Firefox and in Chrome by the end of 2020. Then this site isn't going to work anymore. Maybe in a year I'll do another video, dig around what is the way to play uh, the games nowadays. Um, but uh, here, how to enable. So you click on this Adobe Flash Player. Your browser will tell you plugin blocked. So you can click on that, manage, Right. And what you do then is so I want to manage my flashing flash settings rather than flash being blocked altogether. I would like the site to ask me first before blocking. So, yeah. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, do that. Yep. Uh, go back to the game. Uh, hit reload, which is F5. Hit the flash player again. And now he's going to ask me do you want to run Flash? And I say, yes, I allow you to run Flash. And now the game is working. Can I zoom in on this one? Yes, I can. Awesome, awesome. K and S are my two buttons. Notice again, three buttons and only two buttons left and right to control. So I'm going to start game A. And whoops, I already died right there. See here the sound? That is the biting sound of Pixo. So I'm this little diver who's trying to get to the treasure before the octopus, ah, I almost had it, right? When the octopus legs hit me, touch me, then I die, right? So I gotta get down, I gotta find the gap in between his legs, where's that? 
Okay, so that took us about 30 seconds to lose all three lives, and the game is over. See how with a little animation, just, you know, with just 32 or 64 pixels, however many this got, they're able to animate this little guy guy dying, and the game is over, and I have a zero points. La France, a zero point. Le loser bum, a zero point. Let's try that again. So, uh, yeah, and these three guys here represent my lives. And I should be starting this much faster. So the octopus legs going down. Now they're going back. I can go safe. I've got the treasure. See, I'm holding a bag. Whoop, yay. Four points. I got some treasure from the bag. Now I need to wait. I can, I'm always safe on this top part of the thing. I can go down here. Ah, shit. Didn't pick up. The, yeah, I'm safe here. It won't let me back in the boat because I don't have any treasure. And you see, they don't all go out at the same time. Ah, ah oh, ah, ugh. Okay, so when I'm down there, I actually have an action to fill my bag with treasure. See, I'm pulling treasure, but the longer I say, yay, I got points, nine points. We've made it on nine points and two lives down again. Oops, no, that's risky. Up, and we're back, 14 points, and I've made it, and so on and so forth. Let's hear that sound. One day, maybe I'll do a video about pizza, pizza uh, audio crystal. And we're dead, we're dead. 14 points. That's Game & Watch by Nintendo. Oh, I can even save. No, I'm not going to save. So let's go out of there and then look along the evolution because this is hugely relevant to the evolution of video games altogether. So, yeah, that was the octopus one. Here's another one. This is a fake. This is a Chinese or Japanese copy. Notice how it doesn't say Nintendo. Let's keep going right. Next one. This is Nintendo. Zelda right this is the original zelda none of your wind walker or whatever this is the original game and notice you already have an action button and does this look a little bit familiar to you right the cross the controls of the games you are doing today you find this little cross on a wii controller it looks exactly the flipping same and i think you find it on the switch controllers as well right this is where it all came from this is where it all started let's go back out let's keep going zelda's out there nope that's not where i was uh, and by the way, the Zelda was the first one, and I didn't know Zelda when I was a kid. Maybe it was only in Japan. This was two of them. They would fold together, right? It was like a clamshell, like a tiny little laptop. If you had this one, you were the coolest of the cool. Let's keep going. Some other ones, plain and tank, right? Lots of people copying, lots of people copying. Um, here, Russian copies. Back then, this was like Russia, 89, yeah, was just after it came down. Let's keep rolling. Um, how come that? Oh, come on, there's got to be more on there. The one I'm looking for, yep, we start here. Who do we see here? Nintendo with Donkey Kong Jr. So they owned, um, Nintendo owned um, the Donkey Kong, the big arcade games. Remember the video when I was doing about the burn-in, uh, video burn-ins, the old arcade games? Link down in the description. Yep, but they had the big arcade games where you, you put, put money in to play one game. So then they made a game with Donkey Kong Jr. I distinctly replay, remember playing this on the school bus. My friend could play with my octopus and I could play Donkey Kong Jr. Let me see if I can even get into this game. Wazda? See, even the Wazda. Uh, no, well, that's just... So, and do I have a jump button? Yes, I have a jump button. So I have to jump that. Yep, and I got bitten. So for some reason, there's like bear traps jumping up and down. So when I jump, I can pass it, but I can't always jump because sometimes there's a bird there. So uh, so I have to see where I'm standing. Up oh, there, I can jump, and now I can jump, climb, jump, up, climb, go over, get the apple. Oh, with the apple, I can get the key, get the key. Ah, oh, somehow here, I can... Oh, I fell down. So somehow I'm supposed to get that key to unlock Donkey Kong, right? This is one of the games where Donkey Kong was the good guy. Yep, I'll, I'll break out of that. So Donkey Kong Jr., made in Japan, 82. There you have the date. That was the greatest. And then Mickey and Donald. This was already the start of, um, of Game & Watch licensing uh, other content, like Disney in this case. And the last one, which I hope is here. Come on, that was the coolest ever. Oh, no, I have to see, because there was the mo most bestest one was the full Donkey Kong. So it was a fold open one, like the um, like the Zelda one, but it was Donkey Kong. And that was just the absolute last. Um, yep, so here you have learned. Uh, oh, there it is. For some reason, they've got it on the list. Okay, last one for today, and then we'll finish the video. Here we go. Oh, Donkey Kong.
Oh man, this takes me back. Again, controller, look, you've got Nintendo. And see how the logo nowadays, Nintendo has um, that, that sort of oval around or that thing around Nintendo that generated from these game and watch, I swear. So when does it say? Does it have a date? 82 as well. These games put Nintendo on the path to being the computer game uh, giant, which they are today. So last game for today, we're going to play Donkey Kong, which is very, very classic. It started, where the hell am I? Okay, there I'm the little guy down here, and this is trying to emulate the... Oh, I remember that sound. I had such a long bus ride, so I can go up here. Whoops, be careful. Notice if I were one further to the left, I couldn't jump because I have that steel girder above me. So I have to look for a slightly longer gap. Oh, a slightly longer gap in the barrels. Yeah, like which is coming up now. Up, now we can go up, 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 up. Up here, and I can flick the switch. Now, how do I flick it? Yeah, now I can flick that. I can flick the switch, and that makes that hook here rotate or swing back and forth. That allows me to do something. I'm going to try and get up one time, but I will leave it up to you, esteemed fans, to make your own way through this absolutely wonderful thing. I think if I'm halfway up the ladder, then the barrels can't get me. It's been so long ago. Yeah, here I should be safe from the barrel. This is a safe place. So I can go up, flick the switch by hitting left the switch swings back and forth forth up now i'm swinging here yep and i managed to get a hook yep and i've got the first one so yep that's all i'm trying to do i'm trying to get those hooks and those give me points and i get i also get points for surviving yeah i get us points for surviving and see what i was saying about one fps that's about where we are it's one second between frames yeah so 64 pickles pixels one frame, and we were just as addicted as you bleeding Zoomers and Smombies are to your own Super Nintendo Smash Brother Fortnite, whatever. Oh, ah! See, that's a trick. You could throw, flick the switch, go over and jump, but you have to jump and not just walk off the ledge. Anyway, I think that's enough for today. That was a blast from the past. I feel 40 years younger. Um, yep, so uh, what else can I say? Yep, more content coming up, I promise. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Remember to tell your friends to like, share, and subscribe. Link's down in the description. Uh, you've only got till the end of 2020 to play it until Flash works. Maybe next year I'll publish some hacks how to have maybe a virtual machine on your thing running an older version, which will still allow uh, support for these fantastic games. There will be more MUD content coming up. There will be more Minecraft coming up. Stay tuned. You're the internet, you're all a bunch of bloody legends. I'm Loser Bum, I love you all, and I'm out of here.